Hello, it's me, Renee. You know, my zombie, my sweet zombie. Let's get on with it before I make it more awkward. After both of us finished cleaning the table, we respectfully went off to do our own thing. Hmm. I've gotten used to speaking. Now, I'm not as much stumbling over my words. I'm going to stumble on my love words now. I guarantee that. I think we'll be fine though. If you manage to get all the way here. Thank you. Hmm, I'm bored. I'm not sure what to do. Didn't want to bother Crystal either. And Liam told me earlier today he was hanging with other friends. So what should I do? Oh, wait, I could pronounce those webcomics on my own. Uh, I usually read the ones Liam recommends me, but it couldn't hurt to look on my own, right? I take out my phone and start browsing through some of the comics available on the app that Liam downloaded for me. It was called Web Cartoons and it was one of the more well-known apps where you could you know, read web comics for free, even publish your own web comics. The app had a lot of web comics, some of the app you know, published and some of them that were by people who just wanted to show their work. I'm pretty glad Liam introduced me to the app though. The web comics he had shown me were all interesting and told many unique stories. I jump from webcomic to webcomic, usually only reading the first one or three episodes before deciding to save it later to read. However, oh, that one webcomic caught my eye. It's his, isn't it? I think that's obvious. Hmm? What's this? The cover page of the webcomic was beautifully drawn. It depicted two feminine looking figures holding hands. My beautiful beast. With my interest peaked, I decided to read it. Wait. Oh my god. It wasn't just the art, but the story was beautiful as well. The story talked about romance of a werewolf afraid to reveal its true nature to a blind girl, and the blind girl struggling with her low self-esteem to confess her feelings to the werewolf. <sighs> oh, I can't believe I read all that in one sitting. Ugh. I should have savoured it more. If I had known it was this good, I would have binged it like that. When will the author update it? I checked to see the last time the author updated the comic and said it's been like three huh? years. Two years ago? Oh no, that, that means it's basically dropped. Aww. Oh no, now I wish I never read it. What's gonna happen to Cecily now that the hunter witnessed him together? Oh, what about the fact that the werewolves the pack's leader is ill, and then and a new leader needs to be chosen. <laughs> Ugh. Uh. I'm so sad. Hmm. Maybe the other has other works. Mm, coffee addict. I looked around the others, other social media accounts, but it seems like around two years ago they stopped posting everywhere. It's Liam. That's such a shame. Out of nowhere, they had disappeared. It's unlikely they'll continue this web comic. But still, it was a good webcomic. I should show Liam. <laughs> I'm guessing he hasn't read this one since he hasn't told me about it. I'll go tell him tomorrow. It's his. Oh no, that's awkward. I approached Chris. I approached Crystal, who was sitting on the couch playing animal crossing. Crystal. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Would you mind doing me a huge favor? Mm. What do you need? Oh. You see, Liam asked me to help him tutor for a math course he's in, so I invited him over to in order to tutor him, so you'll need to leave the house for a bit while he's here. I'll give you some money and even my cell phone so you can call me if you need yeah. anything. Why can't you just study at his place or the cafe? Oh no, come up with an excuse. <laughs> uh, uh, I thought that maybe while he's here we could, uh, you could also grab us some decorations for Halloween. You would really help me out by doing so. Additionally, you could grab us some candy. Mm. Fine, I get it. I'll head out. Phew. Mm. Just make sure to call me when your date is over. I don't want to walk in on you try while you're trying to get laid. <laughs> Crystal! After sending Crystal, I had showered and changed before Liam's arrival. I wonder if I should change my hairstyle. 
guess there's no time. I better let him in. I head to the entrance and open it. <laughs> Lim, you here? Uh, hey, I'm here. Thank you again for doing some shopping for me. Um... No problem. Where do you want to put this? He then just just the bag of groceries I asked him to get. Just setting at the coffee table uh -huh. here. Sure thing. Mm. Were you able to you know, buy everything on the list? Uh -huh. Yep, I had no trouble finding what you asked for. I got the balloons, decorations, cake <laughs> stuff. Perfect. I can't wait to surprise Crystal. I'm sure she was surprised you were even doing this. Not many people will celebrate it while someone is living in, a, in their place for a month. <laughs> Well, maybe they do, and my roommate is just a lazy asshole who hasn't done it for me yet. Mm. Don't say that. And it's different. I mean, yeah, she's living, been living with me for a month, but it's so much more than mm. that. She's become a really good friend over this last month, and I um, I guess I want to celebrate our friendship. Is that weird? Uh -huh. It is. Ah. But sweet, honestly. I'm very Sam like. Ugh. Oh. Ah. What does Sam like even mm. mean? All right, so what do you need me to do? Oh. oh, could you decorate for me while I get started on the cake? Then after you're finished, you can come help me make the dinner too? <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> Thanks, Liam. After placing the cake pan in the oven, I walk back to the counter. Mm. All right, time to do dinner. The dough should be ready by now. I grabbed a kneaded dough and began gutting and prepping it into sia pao. Uh? I finished, and it looks great. <laughs> Thank you so much, Liam. I wish I could have helped. Nah. nah, it's fine. You look busy cooking anyways. Speaking of cooking, what are you making? Because it smells great. Hmm. For dinner, I'm making sea power and pork fried rice. And for dessert, I'm making chocolate chip cake, since it's a nice throwback when we first met. Uh -huh. Holy shit, you're making all that? That's it. I want you to be my roommate instead. Hmm. If I kick out my roommate, will you move in with me? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Liam. But I on only know how to cook like this because my I helped my mum and grandma in the kitchen. It's not really all that impressive. I think it is. I mean, if you're making it is any good as the peanut butter bars you made me before, uh. then whoever marries you is going to be a lucky person. Ouch. Uh? Mm. Ah, mm. what I meant by that is, you know, I, huh? I, you want to help me with these buns. Mm. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Relie relieved that the subject was changed, we both began to take fluttered, fluttered doughs and stuff and food filling. For a while we both worked in an awkward silence, but the tension soon dissipated and we began conversing once more. It didn't take us long to finish everything. There, everything is cooked and the cake is baked. All we need to do is wait for the cake to cool down and decorate it and we'll be all finished. <laughs> awesome. Teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> High five. Yeah. I don't know what it is about Liam, but it's so easy to have fun with him around. I'm glad I invited him to help me <sighs> do this. You know, this kind of reminds me... No, when I was young, and I'm watching mom, my mom made tamales. Mm. You ever helped your mom in the kitchen? <sighs> Not really, though I wish I did. My household wasn't the greatest. My parents were kind of traditional. They believed in shit like men were made the money and that no women worked in the kitchen. <sighs> Honestly, I kind of feel bad for my sisters and female relatives. I remember on holidays, they would all be in the kitchen while my dad and brothers were watching TV or playing games. Oh. I I actually kind of remember the same thing in my household. What? Yeah? I guess Mexican and Asian cultures aren't too different then. Mm. Maybe. I, did your parents get on you about your grades? Nah. No, not really. My parents weren't too strict about with me on grades, uh. though. If I ever looked at the color pink or was called crying, then they would yell, tell me to man up or shame me for shit like that. <sighs> That's bad. I mean, Asian households have their own sexist standards, but not so much directed at men, but more so at women. Though I didn't really experience it then, as I didn't realize I was trans until middle school. But I do remember how female how my female relatives often scolded you know, if they were acting too boyish. 
Same, honestly. I had it easy compared to my sisters. They were more strict with them, like my parents would get on them. They didn't learn how to cook and clean. Would be do would be hard. Would harp on the clothes and dating. Even uh, made them follow a curfew. Mm. Worst was when I found out my sister went out late to see a boy and she you know, beat her with her chancha. It was no surprise that once my sisters were old enough they moved out and never looked ah. back. But I am I mean I'm still in contact with them all of them thankfully. Mostly because I realized how you know, bullshit it was for our parents to treat ah. us like that. I understand. I mean, even if it's better to be a male, I'm sure you had to face some challenges too. Mm. Yeah, well, I moved out for two reasons. One, well, that doesn't matter now. But the other reason uh, is because I'm bisexual. Oh, oh were your parents? Uh, yeah, kind of. They didn't approve or believe I was bisexual. Uh, if you're not comfortable talking about it, uh, no, no, it's fine. It's good to get this off my chest, honestly. When I came out as bisexual to my parents, they were really disgusted already to kick me mm. out. The response was, no, you're not. Bisexuality doesn't exist. It's like they completely disregarded that I the fact that I like both men and women. To them, my identity doesn't mm. matter. The worst part is that when my mum made a comment about me going through a phase, I can relate. That's what my parents said when I came out as trans. That's horrible. Uh. And it's not just them, though. A lot of people in my said annoying shit to me when they found out I was bisexual. Stuff like, are you just saying you're bi oh, and, but you're really just gay? Aren't you just being greedy? Can't you just pick a side and other shitty invasive comments or questions? Mm. Actually, my ra last relationship ended because my girlfriend found out I was bi. Huh? She broke up with you because you're uh -huh. bi? No, not immediately afterwards, but you know, it kind of happened over time. She was like, okay, cool, but then, like, w when I even mentioned that, that I dated or slept with a guy, she would immediately shut up, shut down the conversation, as opposed to the uh, women I s slept or dated with. Then she started getting really insecure when I hang out with my guy friends or chatted with them. Uh... And it kind of just spiraled oh. down. I'm so sorry, Liam, that you had to go through that. It's not right for people to want to ignore or disregard your identity. I gently place my hand over his. <laughs> Thank you for trusting me enough to share this. <sighs> God, you really are something, you know that. Honestly, I've never shared this much with a one person. It's nice, though, to feel comfortable enough to with someone to be able to talk about this. <laughs> I'm glad you feel comfortable around um... me. Though I'm sorry you had to listen to me, uh -uh. Went. It's fine. But don't be sorry about that. You listen to me, Vent, all the time. And I kind of understand what you're going <sighs> through. I told you before I had strict parents. Uh huh. That's true. I can only imagine what having an Asian parent is like. Ugh. Yeah, so I get you when you say your parents can be real tough to deal with. Also, I'm a... <sighs> I'm trans, uh -huh. you said this several times in this conversation, but okay, we're just gonna go through this again. Oh, uh, I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. It's not like I'm ashamed that I'm trans, Just I just prefer to establish a relationship with someone or get to know them better before they, uh -huh. you know. Because once they know I'm trans, they that seems all that they see. I came out of my previous job one time and they were all understanding, but... Some of were understanding, but others were... So during this time, since I wanted things to be different, I thought it was fine. But with how we became so close, I just want to say sorry, I never... Oh. Sam, Sam, it's okay. Ah. Sam, you being a trans isn't something you're required to tell anyone. I'm not bothered by the fact you never told me. Quite frankly, it isn't any of my business ah. anyways. Yeah. Um... It should be your decision and only yours whether or not to disclose <laughs> your status. Agreed. Thanks. Do oh? you mind if I ask you some uh -uh. questions? Not at oh. all. When did you start transitioning? Mm. Officially, 19. 
But I started HRT when I was 16 since that was the minimum age. Honestly, I already knew by middle school that I wanted to transition. So I started working and saving money at 15 in order to get surgery, which was until 20. Uh. I see. You work really hard. I did, but it's it was worth it because I'm happier now. <laughs> That's good. It feels kind of nice to tell people again. I kind of hated telling people that I'm trans because in high school, a few more kids used to bully me up for it. I see, and do you remember these, the names of these kids? Like, do they have Facebook profiles? Liam? Mm. Not gonna do anything bad to them. Just check up on, check them up on Facebook. And probably will swear a storm at them and tell them that they're transphobic piece of shits. I giggled as he continued to plot how he was gonna ruin the lives of my old high school oh. boys. Sorry for going off topic and turning it all about uh -huh. me. Hey, it's not a problem, I don't mind. I'm here to listen to listen to you when you need uh. it. Liam, thank you. You've helped me so much with everything. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know why you helped me out yeah. so much. You don't remember, huh? huh? Remember uh. what? Do you remember when we first uh. met? Oh, fuck. Yeah, the manager introduced you to me and uh, had me train you. Nah. Nah, that's not when we met. We met like a week before that. Oh? oh? <clears throat> yeah, it was a day I was being interviewed for the job at the cafe. Um... I was there. Uh... <laughs> you were, but it's fine you don't, if you don't remember. Before I came to work at the cafe, I was going through some shit. I was struggling with depression and had hit on some hard times. Mm. I was doing something else before working at the cafe, but I found myself unable to do the job anymore. So I had to get a different gig in order to make ends meet. Uh. So I was interviewing everywhere I could. So, I kept, But I kept getting rejected everywhere. I was losing my confidence. Uh. And you basically brought me, brought me a free cafe and a pastry. And told me, good luck. Ah. I, and if you haven't done that, man, I wonder if I still be your co worker. What you did really gave me the confidence I needed to do that interview. <laughs> and because of that, I'm thankful to you and the kindness you showed me that day. Oh. Oh, I don't remember at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nah. It's cool. I don't blame you. I mean, after I got hired, I kind of realized you didn't even remember me from that time. <laughs> Not because you were forgetful or anything. I just kind of realized you were just a genuinely good person who just did that kind of thing, stuff for people all the time. But at the time, it meant a lot to me that someone showed me a little kindness to me that day. <laughs> That's what motivated me to stay for that interview, and lo and behold, I got the job, and everything turned out for me afterwards, all because of that one moment with you. Uh, I'm really flattered, but I think you're giving me too much credit. It was just baked cakes and a co mm. baked baked goods and a coffee. Honestly, I don't think you give yourself enough credit. Are you going to fall? Yes. Luckily it was just... Okay, it's not gonna fall enti the entire way. I hope it doesn't make my room more echoey than planned. Can you fall properly if you're gonna fall? I don't like this slow shit. Are you gonna stay there? Okay, well stay there. Liam places his hands on mine. Uh. You are an amazing and wonderful person, Samantha. And I just wish... You could take the compliment. <laughs> Thank you, Liam. You're pretty great um... yourself. Cool. So, um, since we seem to be kind of having a moment, <laughs> would it be okay if I kissed you? Hmm? That's that's a bit sudden to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just like wanted to make sure I had your consent first. Also, I wanted to check if you were attracted to me like I am to you. <sighs> We kissed already. Okay, fine. And if you're not, that's okay. Totally okay. We can just go back to being platonic friends. Also, no, I'm pretty sure my asking to kiss him was more sudden than his. At least we were having a moment. There was no moment there. I just grabbed his hand and kiss me. <laughs> 
I mean it. I won't be one of those assholes who wants to will stop being friends with you because you won't go what? out with me. And if it's too awkward to be friends, I'll give you space. Uh, Liam, you're rambling. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, nervous. But you don't need to worry, I'm attracted to you as well. Uh. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So, does that mean I can kiss you? I leaned down and pressed my lips against Liam's. I felt enchanted as it kissed. As soon as he began to relax, then I started to feel his hands slide up against my hips. Me continuing this position now, lips slowly moving against each other before stepping away from each other to catch our breaths. Uh. That was... wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I checked the time and saw that there was still time before the cake would full, fully cool down. I guess we should find something else to do. Okay. Am I gonna censor that? Am I gonna press it? Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me. You know what? I'm gonna leave this episode here. Excuse me. While I go off. I had hoped you liked it. Subscribe, like, comment. I hope you have a good day. Bye.